Hi, my name is Dean Rust from BluebirdConservation.com. Thank you for being with us today. We're happy to have you along. I have an important topic to talk with you today about. It's called Predator Guard. What is a Predator Guard? Predator Guard is something to secure your bluebird nest box from the nest being destroyed. And whether, we're, whether you have one nest box in your backyard or whether you have a trail of a couple hundred nest boxes, we want the bluebird to have a safe environment and successfully hatch her birds, hatch her, raise her, her chicks, have them fledge, and all this takes about a month's time. And this is a long time for, yes, bluebirds have predators. They have three kinds of predators. We're going to talk about two of the predators today, but let me just mention all three predators. There are mammal predators, there are reptile predators, and there are avian, yes, bird predators. We're not going to talk about bird predators today. We're just going to talk about the mammals. That would be the crawling mammals like a raccoon, a feral cat, a possum, perhaps a skunk, or perhaps a weasel. And then we're going to talk about a reptile that will crawl up the box, surround the box. It would be a rat snake or a black snake. Depends on where you live in this country. I live in Lancaster, PA, and we have lots of predators. Lots of avian predators, lots of reptile predators, and lots of mammal predators. If you just have a nest box in your backyard, and I'm talking to you people that have lots of boxes or just one box, you finally get a mother and father bluebird choose your box, they build a nice nest, and then if you don't protect them, it can all come crashing down some night, some afternoon, some morning early. It's kind of like driving around and thinking you're not going to have an accident, so you don't have car insurance. That might work out for you in the short term, but in the long term, there might be a problem. Save with bluebirds. In the long term, something is going to find that nest be it eggs, be it the mother on the eggs, be it the chicks, be it they're just ready to fledge and something comes, and it's very, very disappointing. There are two kinds of baffles uh, that we can use, actually three, I have them all here. The most popular is the eight inch galvanized baffle, it's 24 inches long, and what you do is go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get a section of this kind of pipe, it comes flat, you curve it, you lock it together, put three screws in it, and then if you want to put a, a cap on it, an eight inch cap, put some screws in that, it makes a wonderful, wonderful baffle that goes down on top, about eight inches under the box. This stops snakes, this stops raccoons, it wobbles, have it wobble. I mount it, here's a good way to mount it, I mount it on either a piece of tape or a ball of some kind, or maybe a hose clamp, put it over your three-quarter inch conduit, it goes down and it wobbles on there. Make sure it wobbles, it shouldn't be fixed. So this is your first line of defense. This particular baffle will run about $11. If that's too expensive for you, you can do common four-inch sewer pipe, drain pipe, put a cap on it, we have about 550 invested in this. This works the same way. Drill a hole in the top, maybe an inch hole, or over the three-quarter inch conduit, slides down over, it wobbles on the pipe. Some people think it doesn't look very pretty, but the mother bluebird inside really enjoys this because she knows she's safe. Another way, we have the $11, we have the 550, we can go down to a bucket a five gallon bucket. Many of you have that. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get a bucket for five dollars or three dollars. Take the bale off, cut an inch hole in the bottom, slide it over, and it makes a wonderful tipping. It will last for years. Once you do these baffles, they're not good just for this season. They're good for next season and years to come. So the first line of defense is the baffle. That is to keep the animal the predator off the top of the box. If somehow they would get by this baffle and gain the top of the box, we have another baffle called a knoll guard. I call this a screened-in porch. 
if lack of a better term, everybody likes a screen in porch, the bluebird can go and come and she can actually come out and look around to see if everything's safe. What this does is if an animal reaches the top of the box, whether it's a snake or whether it's a raccoon, the reach in here is very, very difficult. This is sharp prongs here and it makes the reach difficult for a cat or a raccoon to reach in and do any damage. And the snake really doesn't enjoy crawling over these sharp tangs. So we have two lines of defense, first line and second line. Mother Bluebird is inside and she's very happy because, and she will come back to your box again and again because she is protected inside that box. You know, we all hope that we don't have predator come and destroy our nest of our bluebirds, but hope is not a strategy. A strategy is first line defense, second line defense. My ideal setup for my very favorite box in my backyard would be not only this, but this, a tandem approach to preventing something to come in to spoil all your fun with bluebirds. Thanks for being with us today, and uh, we enjoyed having you, and we hope you learned a lot, and Happy Bluebirding.